most tourists never see Kingston, which is a shame. Because mm. of there, oh, Kingston is yeah. violent, yeah. Kingston is yeah. such and such. I mean, they can go to New York and get mugs. I'm not sure where that point, that point is going. Or London. Yeah, and I mean, but the thing is, the, 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 the pulse of the city, the, the creativity, the energy of what we're talking about, Jamaica, we're usually, we're usually talking about Kingston. And your, you know, your book, your Booker Prize winning book was set down here. Why? Why, why, down, why downtown Kingston? You know, I'm, because I was following the people. And I think because the people were, were all based down here. I also knew I wanted to write a book with a beat, with a pulse, you know, sort of a rhythm. I wanted to be, I wanted to have more in common with a reggae record than a novel. Mm. And it just had to be, it just had to be done here. This writes itself. <laughs> but everything, everything just moves to a beat. Everything moves to a music, everything of a soundtrack. I also, I sometimes wonder if, I sometimes wonder if that's why when I write, I write to music. You do, yeah? Yeah. What, what, what music? Right. I mean everything. I write to dub, I write to trip hop, I write to a lot of German rock. Yeah. I write to tons of jazz. Yeah. But And you think that affects the way you write on a given yeah. day? Like even when I'm even when it's not music and I'm in my office, I would wind down the window so I can hear this. So I can hear knives. Right. I can hear traffic. I can hear because this is, this is what I grew up in. Like I, I'm amazed when people can like when people can need a quiet space to write. I'm like you clearly don't grow up in Kingston. Yeah. Or don't grow up in an urban city. Fleet Street. I can't remember who who started it, but it was this initiative to get Jamaican artists, some fresh out of art school, some who've never been in any sort of educational institution to just come and revitalize this neighborhood. Cause this is an abandoned, you know, this is this is what we talk about when we talk about urban decay. We talk about, you know, abandoned places put to no use and so on. And what do you do? You come here and you come to the very place that people might think is ugliness and turn it into just, just beauty and youth and expression. And so what I like about it is, is the kind of art where nobody told them what they should do. Mm. Can they also do, you know, I remember reading, no, seeing an interview with William Burroughs and somebody said, what should I write? And he just stopped him and says, there's no such thing as should. Mm. There's no word such as should. I think um, with artists, certain like us, there's this pressure about what the type of work we should be doing mm. and the type of art we should be making. Why, why do you think that is this sort of pressure of representation? Well, because there isn't any. Mm. That's one. Mm. And yeah, there is a pressure that if as a black writer, you should hit this, this, this and talk mm. about this, this. And, 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 those things should be talked about, mm. but it, 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 you create a sort of um, atmosphere where, where as an artist, you're just responding to dogma, dogma all the time. And there are other things you want to talk about because you're mm. artists living in the world. And how do you think you managed to do that successfully? Because in a way, on, on paper, mm -hmm. A Brief History has all the most stereotypical themes, mm -hmm. violence, drug lords, etc. Right. Yet none of it comes across stereotypical. All of the characters are surprising. Yeah. They're all full human beings. Because the, how? Because the issue is not what they're doing. I'm, I mean, it's not, it's not necessarily showing a criminal that pays a horrible picture. It's making them into a kind of monkey. Mm. Is this kind of one-dimensional thing. Yes. So if the characters are three-dimensional, if you see that they have the capacity for change, even if they change for the worse, mm. or don't change at all, mm. then that ultimately, even when it's a villain, is a more positive picture of mm. just the art itself. Mm. But I had to learn that too. Because I also thought I might contribute into the problem mm. by writing about these characters and writing about those kind of lives and writing about cruelty and violence and so mm. on. And, um, you know, and, and then I realized it's not the subject, it's not the, um, it's not the characters, it's what you do with them. You know, Trenchtown is arguably the most disproportionately culturally influential few square miles, if that's what it is, in the whole world. Do you think that's an exaggerated statement? No, but I mean, there's reasons for it. I mean, it's, it's, it's also where a lot of these people, it's, it's almost a, a, a statement on, again, class and geography. It's, you're getting where you fit in. Mm. And I think um, one poor person meets another poor person, one musician meets another musician. Um, also, the Alpha Boys yard is wasn't school wasn't that far away. They're just it's, it's just um, I don't want it to come across like it's some mystery. I even find yeah. that kind of problematic. Yeah. But I also think though that it's just 
it's just a series of really of 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 um destabilization of just how you ended up in the urban city um of placement of of racism of um a culture being ignored sometimes that's good mm. because then you're not there to regulate it mm. and you're not there to turn it into a sort of mm. sanitized thing i keep wondering what will happen if reggae had gotten popular before it got good and what do you see as the you know future of west kingston and the future of creativity for this, oh, for, this for this area Man, that's a tough question. I always, I always hate future questions. <laughs> no, if you don't know, you don't know. You can, you can say next. I don't, I don't, you, know. Know. you don't have to answer. I don't even know. I the did future, have another the question about the, the book, future. Is the future is the present, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. It's, 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 I think the future is that they'll keep doing what they're doing, whether the world is paying attention or not. The, the, the world will stop paying attention before and they didn't stop anything. Mm. Um, that's one, that's, but that's also one of the things that makes Jamaican creativity sort of unique. We're not waiting on any gaze. Mm. Um, yeah. you know, we, and we never have. You know, America came here. Mm. You know, the 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 the, the, the far, you know, It was never a sort of a active seeking of an audience. The audience came here. Mm.